All right, my name is Destiny Darden. I'm from Mississippi area. Um, I used to do retail before I jumped into trucking. I was at the Orange Company, and that didn't work out too good. I can go into detail about that if you want me to. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Destiny Darden in the building or Destiny. Um All right. So, okay, okay. Well, let's 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 just take this package one 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 bag at a time. All right. So Okay. So, you was in retail before you 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 jumped into trucking, right? What 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 type yeah. of what type of retail are we talking about? Are we talking about like uh, uh, restaurants, stores, what? Um, really, gas stations. Um, I got tired of it because it wasn't enough money. Wait, what? What was that again? Um, gas station job. Oh, gas stations. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, like you, you like like corner store gas stations, like working with the Arabs uh -huh. or something like that. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, I, I always wondered because I, I see a lot of fine ass females working up in them corner <laughs> store gas stations. But what's it like actually working for for one? You know, we, we, well, we call them a raps, but I, I don't know what's the I don't know the proper term. So if I'm if I'm saying it wrong, somebody let me know if I'm saying it wrong. But we we call them a raps. Uh -huh. So. What what was yeah, it, what was it like? What was it like? Um, you can work over sixty hours and you will still bring home a five hundred dollar check, and they pay hours. under the table, which that yeah, sixty hours. That's against the law, but wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. We 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 talking about the sixty, and they and they just so what? I mean, they just come to you and say, you know, here, this is what. We're gonna pay you, you know. Uh, it's gonna be under yeah. the table, but we want you to work sixty hours, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you even come in on your days off. Um, I was getting paid what seven twenty five or seven fifty, and uh, with Arab, you know, you got the little brother and you got the big brother. You know, the big brother said what goes. You know, they just how they religious and stuff work. Right. So it's like it's it's like they got the whole family working up in there, then, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah. And they really don't trust black people. That's the number one thing. Oh wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. They could have fooled me because they all up, they all over in the black neighborhood. I mean, you know, they they try to talk black, mm -hmm. be black, uh, try That's, you know uh -huh. try to push up on the women and all like that. I mean, and and you turn around and say they 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 don't trust nobody, no no black people, but y'all oh, up in the neighborhood though. I don't get it. Yeah, um, they just do that because you know, yeah, you want to come to my store and spend your money. That's how they look at us, and you know they got the right to say, "Look, you're not allowed here anymore." So yeah, um, I don't really put them past a rap though. I done been messed over a lot. Ha, have they tried to, you know, now how many of the how how many of the stations that you that you uh you know that you work for and have any of them try to push up on you? Oh yeah, a lot. Um, my my last no two years ago, one of my bosses, you know, he tried to pay me I think five thousand just to go with his cousin. And he was way like overseas, something like that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Like, give you like five thousand up under the table to get on a boat? Mm hmm. But you know, that was some BS. Wait, do you think five thousand dollars is enough for you to get on a boat to go across seas? <laughs> oh, I, I do not. <laughs> wait, they could at least offer you like a million. I mean, this like how this, this like how that yeah. that chick was offered. I mean, dude came to her and her boyfriend was they, like, "Yo, uh, I give you a million. and they didn't even have to go across seas. 
a rail did not keep their money in the store. It, it be at their house in a safe. Yeah. Mm. And he only and he only can offer you a thousand dollars. I mean, five thousand dollars to go across seas. I don't even think that's enough for the boat ticket, is it? Uh, I wasn't really trying to find out because his cousin was. I ain't even gonna. I ain't gonna do him like that. All right, all right. So what? 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 Uh. <laughs> What made you get in the truck and in and and which uh route that you took as far as um getting your CDLs? Did you did you go like to in a credit I mean did you go to a school or did you go to a company to go through a school? Yes. Um I was at Snyder. I started May the second. It's a month program and um uh, you're not really guarantee your license. Um, they they say that you hired on, but you're really not. That will confuse me a lot. Snyder um, lied about a lot of things since day one. Um, Ooh, okay. I was at the Wormer, Texas tournament. Yeah. Thank you. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Where are you? Wait, wait. Where, where are you? Where are you from? I mean, where are you from? Because you, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from Mississippi. Okay, okay. You, you did, you did say you was from Mississippi. My fault. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. So they, so they, they flew you down to Texas, or you, 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 you got the. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Yeah. So they. They got you down to Texas so that you can go, you know, go through the uh, CDL program with them. Mm -hmm. uh, and you say since day one. So I'm going to assume you got your license, right? Uh -uh, I had to go through um, their camp program, they call it. You had to go through their what program? Um, it's called a camp program. As have you, um, cat as in C A T. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, what is a what is a cat program? A cat program is designed for um, non experienced drivers to get the CDL. It's a four week program. Um, I passed the class, and you know you have to go out with a um, a trainer engineer for two weeks. Done that, passed it. Okay. Um, they lied and told me, okay, you gonna have a whole week of, you know, your, your back maneuvers, so you can go ahead and test for your CDL. Um, if you're not a resident of Texas, they will send you to Charlotte or Indiana. They sent me to Indiana. When you got down to Texas, did you did you have a CDL permit when you got down to Texas? Yes. yes I did. Okay, yeah. okay, so you already okay, so you already got your home CDL permit. So they sent mm -hmm. you down to Texas. Why did they send you over to what they send you over to Charlotte to test out or what? Yes, they do. Um, because the one in Texas they don't have like third party testing or whatever. Oh, okay, so they have, uh, yeah, was it a three or four week program down there? Oh, uh, it was four weeks. All right, so for four weeks, you you know they they taught you about everything you need to know about a truck. We don't need to get into detail because everybody should know. Uh, but when you got the when you got to Charlotte, North Carolina, was you was supposed to go out with uh, somebody else, or was you supposed to train? I mean, or was you was supposed to? Uh, uh it was, I was in um Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Oh, okay, okay. So when you got, so when you got up to Indiana, was you able to test out, or you had to go out with another uh, instructor, um, somebody? Unfortunately, as um, soon as you get to Indiana, they don't go over their rules and what they expect. Um, you know, um, they really disrespected Texas because they really don't like Texas. I know it's crazy, but it's just the way they set up. Um, we had to learn the pre-trip day way, so I had to go back and learn 
the pre-trip that they wanted me to do. Um, the examiners are real racist. That's why I don't have a CDL now. Uh, they really don't teach. It's a like you you learn it or you don't kind of situation. And that's what I don't really get about the mega carriers and stuff like that. Okay. You said they was you said they was was racist. Why why would you say they huh? they was racist? What 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 made you um what 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 they do to you for you to uh for you to make that assessment about them? Was uh, it was it an individual or was it as a whole? Yes. It was an individual. His name is Ken. I'm going to say his name. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his last name. But <laughs> his name is Ken. I had him, of course. I had him twice. And uh, my first time, I was not ready. They would still send you the test, even if you're not ready. Um, yeah, he'll, he'll just say smart comments. Like, I only speak English. And he told his boss I got smart with him. And, you know, um, you know, his, he told, when he told his boss, you know, the woman took his word over mine. It's like, I didn't get to explain what really happened. So it was like. All right. You got the floor right now. Since they, since. Yeah. They didn't want to listen. We're we're all mm -hmm. ears. So, tell your story. What 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 you know? What they didn't want to listen. You you got the floor. So tell tell uh, us what happened. I was just taking my time in the uh, on the outside part because you know if you fail one thing, you have to do everything back over. So. Um, you know, he was just rushing me. You know, I'm trying to make sure I said everything correctly and slowly for him because he was acting like, you know, he couldn't hear. You know, it was like he was kind of picking, up, picking on me, kind of, you know. And uh, my classmates that was there, you know, they, they messed up on a lot of stuff and still came out with their CDL. So I feel like um, Snyder has they pick and chooses of who they want. So if, you, if you can relate to one, you 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 feel that they have some favoritism going on, pretty much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. No, you you think it was because now you you think it was because of the race card, but do you think it was because you you was a woman, or was there more? I mean, was there more women in your class too? That they didn't, that they didn't pick it, you know, make a pick me out of. Why don't you make me a double espresso macchiato with extra foam? You got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't you make it like your life depends on it? With extra foam. It was about four women in the class. Most, and the most was males. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So and, uh, so it's it yeah. wasn't it wasn't because of, it wasn't because of your woman deal because they you said they had four other women in the class with you mm -hmm. right? Okay. So out yes, of the um, but out of the other four women, I'm I'm assuming that out of the four women, you was included with the four or you was the fifth. Yes. Yes, I was. Um, only one. No, only two pairs. The rest of us had to go home. So. And and the two and and the two that passed was they black or Caucasian? Um, one was mixed, and the other one she was um dark. She was black. Yeah, but she had a different examiner than I did. I had yeah. Unfortunately, it, that didn't too much work out. Did they give you, did they give you a, you know, an opportunity to maybe do some makeup or anything like that, or they just pretty much said, "No, nah, thank you, please come again," and showed you the door. 
Um, really, she just said, um, I'm gonna need y'all, I'm gonna need your tablet and your equipment, and that was it, you know. It wasn't no positive vibe, nothing. Did they send you back home, or you guys had to find your way back home? Uh, uh-uh, they send you back home. Oh no, I hope I don't fall. <laughs> Big cheese got it locked.